Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Disturbing message about Hillary's server found in FBI office storing it. For Americans suspicious of Hillary Clinton and her supporters hidden in the federal government, WikiLeaks is the gift that keeps on giving. During the 2016 presidential campaign, it was the slow drip of revelations from WikiLeaks that helped doom the Clinton candidacy by exposing its rigging of the Democrat primary process and publicizing the machinations of Clinton campaign manager John Podesta. Now, WikiLeaks is publicizing revelations about the FBI investigation of Clinton's private email server when she was Secretary of State that should be setting off alarm bells all over the country. Buried in FBI files released under Freedom of Information Act requests is a nugget WikiLeaks posted on Twitter Saturday that makes the entire FBI Clinton probe more than a little suspect. Nothing to see here, folks, right? The FBI files' dry language shouldn't disguise what happened here. Essentially, the FBI confiscated the server that housed Clinton's email operation from Platte River Networks in Denver on August 12, 2015 and took it to the FBI's Operational Technology Division for storage as Item 1B3. When an FBI special agent, Sa, blank, in the file, went to pick up the server on October 20, more than two months later, he was greeted with the disturbing message that the chain of custody for what could well be the single most important piece of evidence in the investigation had gone missing. That would be a major problem for any criminal investigation, whether a petty drug offense or a major white-collar embezzlement. But for the FBI's investigation of Clinton's potential breaching of national security, it's mind-boggling. Essentially, it meant the server was officially unaccounted for. Critics of the FBI on social media reacted with scorn to the news. The distrust of the FBI in that last tweet is the worst part of the whole Bill and Hillary Clinton effect, which has been to pollute everything the couple has been involved with since at least the late 1980s. Until the Clintons came along, most Americans would give the FBI the benefit of the doubt. With every day that passes bringing new revelations of just how much of a pass Hillary's campaign got, that trust is getting eroded. The loss of the chain of custody doesn't necessarily prove the server itself ever left FBI hands, but it does mean the FBI can prove its whereabouts from the time the machinery was supposedly taken into government supervision. It also raises legitimate suspicions that the server might have been doctored during the time it was supposedly secure, with critical files added, deleted or otherwise modified and it basically destroys the server's usefulness to the prosecution if it were ever needed for a criminal trial. Of course, the Clinton hacks and the FBI and elsewhere probably never envisioned the former first lady ever facing a criminal trial. Heck, they thought they were helping the first female president of the United States get into office. But a Republican named Donald Trump got in the way of that and, with the help of WikiLeaks strip of revelations during the campaign, stopped Clinton from reaching the Oval Office. Now. WikiLeaks is still helping Americans understand just how untrustworthy the Hillary operation, and the FBI investigation, really was. It's the gift that keeps on giving. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.